Hello, it's Stephen Andrew. I'm a state member from Rani, and I've got something really handy, futuristically great for every household in all of Queensland, and indeed all of Australia. And it's called the Household Resilience Test. I'm actually going to go through and put my position as I am right now um, in our house at home of where we are. Now, what this actually shows is the shortcomings of some households whether they've got enough food, whether they've got enough water, whether their first aid kits are topped up, and there's so much other stuff involved in this. I think it's very important, given the fact that who knows what the future brings, holes, and what we need to do is always ensure that our loved ones and our family are always taken care of. And this is part of that situation to be able to give us the foundations of ensuring that we're ready for any situation at any time. So I'll we'll use the big dot. I we'll have well stocked and up to date first aid kits in my house and in my vehicles. I'll put that in a seven and a half. So the, the actual circle here is a perfect scenario and my actual markings that go within the circle is a scenario that I will live in a situation when it, everything goes to, you know, goes down the, the drain. I've got to jump in, I've got to move, I've got to do something. That This will show me where my shortfalls are and shortcomings are. I have one week worth of drinking water and I can easily access um, if, if the power goes out so I've, I've got to go there on that one. I have a well stocked pantry with three weeks at least of food uh, and toiletry supply, uh, sorry, supplies for my whole family so I'm going to go up here with that one. I have a backup for, he uh, for heating and water cooking and cooking food so I do have that and I do keep a, a, a very a substantial amount of gas and, and also firewood. I have a way to get electricity in my house if the power goes out, and I do have. I've got a gen set and also a caravan plug. My family has a disaster scenario plan and we practice together. Now I'd be lying to say that we're perfect with this. I'm gonna go down just below the, the middle. Um, I have a month of savings and cash uh, out of the bank. No, I don't. I would have at least two weeks. So for me to come out, I'd have to go halfway. Um, I exercise regularly and could walk five kilometres. I do know that we can do that. I am ready for a significantly changed future, having considered possible future scenarios. I don't think any of us are like that. I think the situation is that we've never had issues in Australia. It's been a lucky country, but it's not always gonna be so lucky, given the fact that there are changes in, in our everyday life right now. So I think we need to have a look at this very closely. Um, so am I ready? I think I'd be right down here to do that at this very point in time. Even though I'm probably a little bit better than that, I'd rather look at the worst case scenario. I have at least five people I could count on in a time of need. That's an absolute. So I'm gonna draw this wheel and the way it's gonna look. And this is gonna basically show how rough my ride's gonna be. So, if you look at that, it's terrible. I'm in for some rough times. I've got some real hard lessons to learn in life. If something does go wrong, I'm gonna really struggle. The perfect scenario is that actual wheel on the outside, and I'm nowhere near it. So I have to dress this, 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 a lot of areas right throughout. And this is what this course does. It will help you. The resilience of your family, the way that you are, your wife might see it, or you know, my partner might see it differently. Um, but certainly, this is a pretty good indication that I need to look at what my life's going to be if this scenario happens. And this scenario here is not a good place to be. You need to do the household resilience test. You need to put your family's family, your friends, Everyone that you know, to get on board, have a look at your life right now, what it is and what it can be and should be in a, in a case of emergency. And that resilience needs to be there so that you can wait out and you can ride out the storm comfortably, not like I have here with a really rough wheel.